Hey guys, wanted to show you another model that I'm going to be putting up for sale in the Warboss Taste Studios web store. It is Gut Rot Spume. This is a, another winner from my entries into a local painting competition here in California. And very happy that he won because I put a, a considerable amount of effort into the color scheme. Now for those of you who've seen Gut Rot Spume on the Games Workshop website, you'll see that his tentacles are a very bright contrast to the drab colors of his body. So what I was going for was the normal, very drab green, kind of uh, pale flesh colors, rusted browns on the axe there, very muted golds and, and brass. And uh, along with that, I went with a kind of an autumnal theme for the base, it's like fall, the leaves are brown, the uh, autumn grasses and, and flowers and undergrowth is, is red and orange. And all of that was to contrast the bright tentacles. So for the tentacles, I'm very happy with how they came out. And I also went with some eyeballs on the back because he had some some pustules and, and big globby growths there. I decided to make them eyeballs, bright blue eyes, again, to contrast the drab color tones of the armor. If you'd like to copy my tentacle recipe, very briefly, it is starting with moot green there, fading into a warpstone glow, then fading into sotek green here, fading into serious purple and finally ending up with gene stealer purple. You round that out with uh, a couple of glazes of those colors, thin down those colors to kind of tie them together and uh, it kind of creates the uh, the join between the colors to make them transition look really really nice and finally add them uh, add to that a little bit of water, realistic water effects, or you can go with a gloss varnish, it's pretty much the same thing, and you create this very slimy, wet, slick looking uh, tentacle effect. Very pleased with how it came out. I also added some Nurgle's Rot and uh, Tamiya Clear Red, Blood for the Blood God, to there's a uh, open sore right there on his belly, you can barely see, as well as some bones or horns sticking out of his stomach there. I am so happy with how this model came out. I'm glad it won first place in the uh, local paint painting competition, and I'm gonna be putting it up on my web store. So if you are interested in owning this model, please feel free to uh, pay for it. And once it's gone, it is gone. But hey, if you like it as much as I do, I would love to work on another one. So uh, just contact me, warbosstastestudios at gmail.com, and we can get another one going. I think this model is fantastic. I know when it first came out, along with, you know, I wanna say 90% of the things I have initial, initial feelings about from Games Workshop, once I actually get the brush to the model, I tend to change most of my opinions for the favorable. He is on a round base uh, because he is for use with the Age of Sigmar um, model and uh, war game. And yeah, I hope you guys like this model. There's uh, one more video I'm going to be making about the Empire Rocket Volley team. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.